Hello everyone, Good Times Card Collector here. Welcome to our box break. This is 2000 Victory. You can see Mark McGuire on the front there. Uh, one thing to note about this box is that there is a Griffey card in every pack. Even says so on the side. Oh, it's a, it's a little uh, stay together box. Right on the side there. A Griffey card in every pack. Also some inserts. 36 packs. 13 cards per pack. So let's see what we get. We'll just open the... Oh, it just kind of comes right off of there. So that's good. That's a good good one there. The thing that comes off of there easily. McGuire over there in the corner. In the corner. Alright, we got all of our cards. Get these out of here. Anyone who says I don't open newer packs, these are in the 2000s. Skipped over the 90s from 80s, went all the way to the 2000s. High tech. All right, so let's see what we have in our 2000 victory. Maybe we will have victory. We're going to have Griffey victory in every pack, so... That's the main thing. And we'll see what else we get along the way. A little sticky there together. Oh, they're all going to stick together. That's going to be fun. All right. Huh. All right. Okay, Johnny Damon. Big play, Sammy Sosa. Big play stuck together. Huh? Oh, it's just a thick card. Okay. Stat leaders. Who is it? Sammy Sosa, Mark Grace. Checklist. Al Leiter. Andy Ashby. Rob, Bob Howery. Stat leaders. Sheffield and Brown. Don't know what their stat leaders for. Not the same thing. Todd Ritchie. Brooke Fordyce. Ron Belliard. Vlad, big playmaker. There's thick cards. There's our Griffey card, our Junior Circuit Griffey. Paces the AL and home runs and RBIs in 97. Comp with their, uh, Enter their bat card. Oh. Oh, there's two of them. Two. Look at that. We get two contest cards. Aren't we lucky? One pack, two contest advertisement cards. Usually in packs, you're lucky to get one of those contest cards in the back. We get two. 13 cards per pack, and two of them are contest cards. And these ones are stuck together pretty good. Oh, there we go. That crack in your neck. You get them nice and loose there. A little loose there. There we go. You hear that? There we go. Loosen them up a little bit. All right. <laughs> oh, and they're stuck. Come on. Come on. Unstick. Chris Carpenter. Come on, unstick Chris Carpenter. Somebody. There we go. All right. Chris Carpenter, unstuck. Sandy Alomar Jr. Pokey Reese. Remember Pokey Reese now? I heard about Pokey Reese in a while. Rookie Calvin Murray. Big time. R2K. Pretty sweet. Oh, another rookie. Eric Gagne. Looks very determined. Get out of that maze behind him. Stat leaders, Chipper and Greg Maddox. That's a cool card. Like that. John Olerud still hanging around in 2000. Arubel Durazo, whoever that is. Sterling Hitchcock. There's Jita. It is Jita. 
and Sean Green. We did pretty well back in the uh, 90s. And our Griffey card. Griffey named Unanimous 97 AL MVP. And look at it. That looks like a unanimous look. And our great two advertisement cards in the back. Same ones in every pack. Same ones. Do our, it's our, like our, uh, what do they call those? ARSM videos, or whatever. You just, I don't talk, you hear it. There you go, hear them. It's like when I open cards and eat pickles at the same time or something. One of those videos. All right. Gil Mesh, Stat Leaders, Royals. Who are Stat Leaders? Sweeney and Beltron. Didn't have a pitcher leader, I guess. I thought they had Grinky then. Oh, our rookie. Who is it? Josh Beckett? It's a pretty good rookie. Look how young Beckett looked. Holy. Must have been like out of high school. He looked like he's like 17. Mike Lowell. He was with the, uh, wasn't he on that Red Sox World Series team? Daryl Kyle. Was solid. Marvin Bernard. Marvin Bernard. Poor Marvin Bernard. Todd Walker. I think he was good for a, a blink there. Darren Ertz, that was, was solid. Luis Gonzalez. He had that, didn't he have that hit in game seven of the World Series to win it? Rookie? Who's this rookie? Chad. Hermanson, yeah, not so good, but good luck with that. Mike Piazza. And our Griffey. Griffey receives his first Silver Slugger Award, Slugger Award in 1991. And our fun, I don't know what I'm going to do all those cards. I have, I'm going to have, I'm going to have 72 of those, um, Contest cards. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. Alright, Julio. Break your back a little bit. A little bit of the top. There we go. Just loosen up a little bit there, buddy. Things aren't going to go well for you, buddy. So let's just loosen it up. Alright. Julio Ramirez. Not so much. Good try, though. Trot Nixon. Mondo Benitez. Chad Allen, Diggin, Brian Jordan, I know, I know Brian Jordan, David Bell, Tony Clark, Tony the Tiger, Detroit, there's Schilling, still on the Phillies, before we got all weird, I think. Tino Martinez, on the Yankees, should still be on the Mariners. He's on the Yankees. Ben Grieve was supposed to be something. Didn't do so much. Sidney Ponson. He was actually supposed to be pretty good for a little while there. And our Griffey is 1999. Griffey is voted his 10th All-Star Game. There's our Griffey. And our two... I don't think I've ever seen so many of those giveaway cards before. It's pretty crazy. Alright, let's get you ready, Trevor. Alright, let's see if that works. Trevor Hoffman, Hoffman, Paul O'Neill, of course from Seinfeld, where a little kid wants him to hit three home runs in that game so that Kramer can get that card back. It's pretty solid. Omar Dahl's not very good. Doug Glanville, eh. Rookie? Juan Pena. Ah, Juan. Not so much. Tom Glavin. Looky, looking. I would say home run, but I'm thinking foul ball. Sorry, Tom. Chad Curtis. Yeah. Eh. 
big play. Sean Casey made some big plays for the uh, the Reds. Probably a double, if I were to guess. Steve Woodward. Not much to say. Jose Offerman, not much to say. Homer Bush. Right. And our Griffey. Griffey prevails in the home run derby. It's a good thing about these cards. No matter what I get in the pack, it's always going to be a Griffey at the end. So it could be a trash pack. Nothing good. It's always going to end on a Griffey. That's one of the good things about... Whoa, that was a weird... Hold up the weird. There we go. Oh, our camera. Stay with me. Alright, let's see what we got in this one. Who we got? Oh, we got Big Cat. How can you not start out with Big Cat and have a good day? Big Cat. Oh, Manny. Look at Manny up on the wall. It's pretty sweet. Jump and catching. That's a, one of the better cards. And we got Jeff Shaw. Our rookie is Rick Ankiel. Another one of those, uh, I think he, he's one who turned into an outfielder, didn't he? I think he turned into an outfielder. They're like pitching, yeah, not so much, but maybe you can play in the outfield. It's like my uh, little league team. Oh, you're the pitcher. Oh, yep, not pitching anymore. Now you play outfield. Carlos Beltran. John Wetland, solid for a while there. A rookie, Doug Davis. Ooh, sorry. Look how happy he looks too, but things aren't gonna go so well for you, Dougie. Sorry, buddy. Good luck with things at Walmart or wherever you end up going. Daryl Hamilton, stoked about something. Who's this rookie? Eric Munson, not so much. Big play, Jeff Bagwell, that's a nice one. Jeff Bagwell, big playmaker. He's got the shades. Those are the sweet, like, 94 shades. That's good stuff there. Who's this? Roberto Alomar, solid. I don't know what he's doing there. Come on, cards. I know there's two. I know there's two. There it is. Oh, come on. It's gotta be my Griffey. My Griffey circuit card. There we go. Griffey doubles in his first major league at bat. It was a double. Oh. Came out of nowhere. Our next pack is... Who is it going to be? Let's get you going there. A little cracky crack. There we go. Alright. Rookie. Peter Bergeron. No... Although, didn't he go on to uh, host uh, America's Funniest videos? Bergeron? Might be that guy. That might be the guy. John Flattery, not so much. Ryan Klesko. Ryan Klesko was kind of a... Like, he did okay. But, like, he wasn't very collectible, I don't think. Maybe it was his face. Eric Milton. They're really into the whole, uh... These pitchers are gonna hit thing. I wonder if 2000... No, 2000 wasn't the first year of Interleague. I think Interleague started like 96 or 97 or something like that. They're really into it. Like, they're showing the pitchers hitting here. It's like their deal. Tim Salmon, solid. Tim Salmon was great. Look, he looks ready. There's Vlad. Still on the Expos. Those are good good days. Vlad wouldn't swing at anything. Mike Lieberthal, he was... Lieberthal was, was good there. I remember from my fantasy teams that Lieberthal, like... He was a solid, I mean, I don't know if he could, like, catch or block the ball or throw people out, but he could hit. I remember that. That's all I cared about. <laughs> Kevin Young. It was 2000. All, I, all everybody cared about is if you could hit. There was no defense. Gold gloves went to, like, the most popular, whoever was popular. It's kind of funny. I mean, that's why I remember. Russ Davis could hit, could play any third base. Another example. Jermaine Dye. He was good. Eric Young was solid. Liked him better on the Rockies, though. And our junior, Griffey hits 
The last home run of the kingdom. Yep, they blew that sucker up. Kingdom went down. And they built the safe go pitcher park. Oh, look at this stat leaders. Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Burnett's? Oh, Grissom and Burnett's. Odd couple there, those two guys. Oh, there's a Griffey card. Nice. Backward hat, of course. Swinging. Jeff Supan, you weren't very good. Oh, there we go. It's a nice one, too. Freddy Garcia. He was the number one before Felix came in there. Freddy Garcia was number one. And look at Griffey. He's not as excited about Freddy Garcia. He's like, I might need to, like, leave for another team. Things aren't going well here. You guys got rid of A-Rod. Mark Loretta. Hoping to get in the game. He's ready. Jeremy Jambi. Another brother who got a chance, who's not as good. Fred McGriff, Crime Dog, still hanging, still playing. Will Clark, another, still hanging, still playing. He's, uh, he's looking like he's getting to the end there. Ron Coomer, guy's kind of weird. Big playmaker, No Ma. No Ma was the big thing in Boston. A couple years there. He played okay, but it didn't really do too much. I think it was more hype than anything for Noma. Stat leaders, Guerrero and Rondell White. For the Expos. And our Griffey. Which one's this one? Griffey becomes the second fastest to 25 home runs. Wow, they keep a lot of stats. That is the second fastest 25 home run stat. I wonder if he's also the second fastest to 26 home runs. So check that one. Maybe that'll be the next card. Or second fastest to three at to like 20 at bats. Or second fastest to walk up to the batter's box. All right. Sorry if that's ear piercing. That sound. It's the sound of cards being free from each other. Juan Encarcion on Detroit. That's before he was good, I think. Craig Bijo. Nice. Who's this? Steve Finley. He was good for a while there. The Demonbacks. The Demonbacks. I mean, Diamondbacks. I don't like the D-backs. That's why I call them the Demonbacks. All right. Robert Person's no good. Who's the rookie? Mark Redman. Eh. I think he pitched a little while, but... I don't think he was very good. Millwood. Millwood was solid for a little while there. Jeff Williams. I've never heard of him, so he couldn't have been very good. Greg Vaughn. Oh, it's all mixed up. Got him in a Reds jersey, but it says Devil Rays. This was towards the end, probably. When they have uh, the wrong jersey on, like, this guy got moved around a lot. That's probably about it. Ben Davis. I think he was supposed to be good. The Padres had a lot of players who were picked high that were supposed to be good that just weren't. Freddie Garcia, we talked about earlier. There's Brady Anderson. Mr. 50 home runs. Now see, since I have an older card, our newer card, I can actually look at it. Where was that year he hit 50? There it is. 96. 50 home runs. Because I always make reference to Brady Anderson's steroids and he roided out on that 93 leaf card stuff. But, but seriously, 95. 16 home runs, 96, 50, 97, 18 home runs. So, like, that's pretty crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's a bigger swing ever like that. Griffey leads the American League in home runs. Now, that's a good stat card. That's much better than second fastest to 25 home runs. They were, they were stretching it. They're like, we got, like, 100 of these cards of two. We got to find some stats. We need some stats stat on this guy because we got to make a lot of cards and we don't have that much information. Shannon Stewart. He had a decent couple years, I think. Edgar Renteria. Eh. Troy O'Leary was terrible. 
rookie, Kip Wells. Sorry, Kip, you were no good. Jose Nieves, never heard of you. Hey, there's Ripken. Cal. Still stringing along those games. Miguel Tejado, who almost tripped my brother. Always liked him. Stat leaders. Oh, Canseco. Canseco still had the hair, even in Tampa Bay. Still had the hair. And Roberto Hernandez is no good. Tampa Bay had a rough team. When Canseco and Roberto Hernandez are your stat leaders, it was a rough year down in Tampa Bay. I think they were still the Devil Rays then. Juan gone. Just not looking happy. Juan gone's not looking happy there. Is that the only? Is that how Juan gone? That's how Juan gone always looks though. I think. Never like had a real happy smile. I still never heard him talk before. There's Mo Vaughn from our ninety or eighty nine number one draft picks. Still hanging in the league. See with the Angels. Christian Guzman, no, not very good. And our Griffey. Griffey becomes Mariners' all time home run leader. Well, that's not hard. There's nobody else who's ever good on the Mariners. Who else was on the Mariners before Griffey? What, Dave, Dave Kingman hit like 150 jacks in his career or something like that. Ooh, this is a snappy one. A snappy one here. All right, who we got? Derek Gibson. Sorry, buddy. You're no good. Shannon Stewart. We saw him already. I hope we don't have the same pack again. Hope it's not a dupe pack. Uh-oh, I think it's a dupe pack. Didn't we have Edgar in the last one? Oh no, here's, this one's different at least. Manny and Alomar. We even had a pretty good team there when they had those guys. Arroyo and eh. Alfonso Soriano. Alfonso was solid. He had some hype. The Yankees. And then he went to the Nationals, I think. He was good. Soriano was pretty good. He had some jacks, from what I remember. Lori Walker, of course, my vote for the 19 Hall of Fame. I think he had a good career. There's a Jeter, big playmaker. Talk about big playmaker, big player, Jeter. Mr. Put your cell phone in the basket when you come over to my house guy. Oh, this guy, this one again. Uh, Canseco does have good hair though. Like they managed to get him with his, it seems like, half at least half of Canseco's cards have no hats on I don't know how he plays baseball all the time but never has a hat on in any of his cards oh, he's got the hair flowing Alfonso Alfonso was solid he was pretty good for a while there Ian Palmer eh. with our Griffey Griffey is elected to his eighth straight all-star game that that's a good stat that's a good one I'll take that stat I don't know why I'm stacking up these uh, giveaway card promotion cards I should be just tossing them right in the trash from the desk here should be flipping them you know what I should do is I should have my trash can across the room and I should be flipping them into the trash that's what I should do you know I'll cut this video and go set the trash up across the room and start flipping them see how many I can get in the trash actually I can do that for my next actually my next pack I'm gonna do that I'm moving the trash I'm gonna flip them I need something to do with those things okay Bob Wickman he was terrible Jim Tomei was awesome. Very, I feel like he was very underrated. He was like quietly, like just destroyed with home runs. Todd Helton was also very good. I feel like, you know, with the Rockies, he just did get a lot. I mean, he cores, everybody's like, oh, he plays a core, so of course he's gonna be good, but, you know. It's like the whole argument with Barry Bonds, like, oh, well, he used some steroids. So if everybody used steroids, then they'd all hit, you know, almost 800 home runs. Scott Williamson, or a rookie. D'Angelo Jimenez, sorry Yankees, you did not hit on that rookie. The Yankees, I mean, they had Jeter, but really they did not hit on rookies for a long time until they got um, Judge. Matt Williams, he looks like he's pretty done. He looks like he's just collecting the paycheck. He was, he did well. I mean, Matt Williams played really well. It's just, he just, eh, I don't know, Matt Williams, just, Kind of weird. Ryan Christensen, just, yeah, terrible. Rondell White, eh. Who's next? Noma. I don't think Noma played very well, but he was popular. 
Pretty interesting. We talked about Mr. Roy for a year. I don't know why I just keep it up. We've got a bigger contract. We kept on hitting 50 jacks a year. Randy Wolf was not good. And Junior and Senior hit home runs back to back. That's pretty cool. Him and his dad. Oh, yeah. I'm going to cut the video real quick. All right, I'm back. All right. I got about a, it's not too far, about a 15 foot shot with these uh, redemption cards. Trash can's about, it's an oval. We're looking at about 24 by 12 inches. Not a big, not a big bucket for me to hit into, but I think I can, I think I can make it at least half the time from here. Get a little spin on it. I can always go off the door if I have to. I can nail it. All right, here we go. Delgado, eh, he had a lot of hype too. Rob Den, he was solid for closing it down. You know, better with the Marlins, but he was, he was pretty solid. Jason Veritek, eh, I think he was just popular because he was on the Red Sox. John Jaha, the eh. Giants. Barry Bonds and Russ Ortiz, really? Russ Ortiz, the 2000 Giants weren't that great. They, Russ Ortiz, why is he on here? I don't want to see Russ Ortiz. I mean, anybody but Russ Ortiz. I mean, there's nobody better on the Giants than Russ Ortiz. Mike Piazza, big playmaker. Ah, with the Mets, though. See, I don't like Piazza on the Mets. It's one of those things that rubbed me the wrong way. Piazza on the Mets. And then he went to the, what was on the A's? And maybe Tampa Bay, maybe? I didn't, I'm not, not a big fan of that. Orlando Hernandez. He was pretty solid for a while there. Who's our rookie? Rob Ramsey. Nope, didn't do very well. Henry Blanco, not so much. I'm surprised they gave him a card. Alfonseca, eh. Davy Cruz was not good. And our junior, 1999, Griffey wins his third straight AL home run crown. Now that's solid. All right, first shot in the trash. I missed. That was a warm-up shot. That one hooked way left. That one hooked a lot more left than I thought I was gonna. I don't know if it's the wind or what in here, but that one really hooked on me. I gotta either change my angle on it or get it to get it to come down. All right, A Rod on the Mariners. Those were good times. Yeah, uh, look at it. He looks like a pufferfish. What are they doing to A-Rod? A-Rod saw this card and he's like, you know what? I'm going to go to Texas. I don't really like that card. You guys make a fool out of me in Seattle. Steve Parrish was terrible. Rookie. Vernon Wells. Vernon Wells was solid. He got that big deal. He was one of those, those guys that I thought was like the money guy where like he played well. And then he got the big contract and he got like super lazy. That's just my opinion, but... He got once he got money. I felt like he was never the same after he got that first contract. But Vernon Wells was solid. He was he wasn't Carlos Feebles, who was very feeble and looked like he's doing like that uh, that ballerina move, it's like a pirouette where he spins on his toe around. Yeah, Beltron, big playmaker. Giants picked him up. That was a big mistake. Hey, Mark Grace is still around in 2000. It's good to see. See, that hair looks more brown. I was making fun of that blonde hair, but that's that's light brown. That's, see, that's the Mark Grace I'm talking about. That's not blonde, 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 like that one card. That's looking more brownish, like light brown. That's why I was so freaked out about that blonde card. I thought he had, like, had a wig on. Brad Radke is all right. Dark Bell, not so good. Jeff Weaver, yeah, you didn't do it, buddy. That's an interesting card. They couldn't find one of you playing because you were terrible. Mike Sweeney, eh. Rookie, Domingo Guzman, another Padres rookie who was terrible. And our Griffey, 92. Griffey is the first Mariner with consecutive 100 RBI seasons. 
that's just more sad about the Mariners than, <laughs> than good for Griffey. I mean, that's great, but... Couldn't have a hundred... Oh, here we go. And we're gonna go more left here. Oh! You should have saw that one. That one was on. I went a little high off the door, and it came back and hit the front lip, and then lipped out. That one should have went down. That was... That one should have went in. That was like some kind of like evil Halloween ghost still hanging around in here that knocked that one out. John Lieber is ready, but you ain't playing, buddy. But look at that background. That's like uh, in like fifth grade when I got my uh, portraits at school and they had those like six different shade backgrounds they pulled down. They say, which one do you want? Black dots with white or gray or green? Rio Dornez was supposed to be good. Not so much. I don't think, I think he was terrible in the field from what I remember. I mean, he was good in the field and he couldn't hit. He had one or the other. Corey Koski, yeah, uh, you look smug, but you weren't so good. Mike Messina was good. I clicked Mike Messina. He has that sweet 91 score rookie card. Damon Easley, not so much. Jim Edmonds was solid. Vidro was solid. He played on the Expos, nobody cared, but he hit. I want to say he hit like three, like 60 one year. His batting average. Ooh, not these years. I'm going to look at the batting average on those years. Because maybe it was the wrong answer than somebody else. Stat leaders. Jeff Bagel. Remember Lima? Crazy Lima. Lima was a crazy fool, dude. I remember Lima being super crazy. Look at those crazy eyes. He is. He's got crazy eyes. <laughs> Lima. J Bell. Wow. Just keep looking, buddy. San Diego. Oh, they still have Gwen. And Trevor Hoffman. Trevor Hoffman looks like he had uh, well something before the game. I don't know. So confused. I mean, you sit. I mean, he sits out in the bullpen till the ninth inning. And what else is he gonna do out there? Just to kind of stare off into space. He's got good practice at that. Matt Manti is terrible. Griffey. Griffey earns his second gold glove. Sweet. All right. We're going to sink these. Nailed it. All right. Now now it's about hitting it every time now. The first one had more lock to it. It went off the door and then it ended up hitting the rim and rim out. That one I just like sink it against the back of the bin. I think that's the way to do it. Just right into the back of the bin. Like take it bin. Right in the back. All right. Big play McGuire. That's he is the big play. I remember some of his home runs. It was like a line drive over the shortstop's head, but then it just kept on going all the way over the fence. It was like a laser. It was sweet. Dave Varish, you're terrible. Sorry, buddy. Alex Gonz Gonzalez, not much better. Orioles, look at oh Ripken. Oh, he used to have so much hair. Those flowing locks of '84 and. Still hanging in there though. And who else is with him? Albert Bell? Huh. Albert Bell was the only other oral you could get on there. 2000 Albert Bell? It's not like the 1993 Albert Bell. More stat leaders. Milton and Koski. Sorry, Minnesota. You guys have terrible stat leaders. Garrett Anderson. Tony Womack. See the Diamondbacks? I don't like the Diamondbacks. And I don't like any of their players. Especially Tony Womack. Lance Berkman, solid. He ended up with the Yankees and the Cardinals. There's Bell Trey, still playing. Well, I think this is it. He's quitting up this year, maybe. There's his Dodger years. Hidalgo was terrible. Justin Thompson, sorry. Any Detroit fans, that, that, was, that didn't go well. Junior Circuit, 1991. Griffey sets a club record with 1991 with batting... 327. Again, kind of sad for the Mariners more than good for Griffey. That's great he hit 327, but no one in the history of the Mariners has ever hit 327. I mean, that's pretty good, but oh, here we go. Let's sink it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not missing anymore now. They're all going in. I'm not going to clean up a big mess over there now. I've got like four cards on the ground over there, but the rest are going in. All right, let's get this going. Like, not even halfway. Oh my god, look what happened to this card. Jacked up. It's 
Good thing it's Matt Riley who's terrible. Okay, I'm just gonna chuck him. I'm sorry, Matt Riley. That is inexcusable corner. I don't grade cards for like PSA and everything, but I can tell you that that card is jacked up. Let's go in the bin, buddy. Oh, it's a single card though. It's a thin one. Oh, it had a, it floated more on me. I missed. Jeff Jenkins. He was solid. Was he a catcher? No, outfielder. I thought I feel like he was a catcher. Oh, that was Nielsen. He was a catcher. For my fantasy team always had Nielsen because he hit like crazy. He hit like 330. He was a catcher. It was sweet for my catcher on my fantasy team. Uh, Rafi. I always think Rafi was good. Some people really don't like him. Ray Lankford was all right. Lofton was awesome. My brother collected him. I couldn't collect him. Sean Casey was... He was there. He hit pretty well, I think. Hammonds wasn't that great. Mark Quinn. No good. No bueno, Mark Quinn. Sorry, buddy. Gave it a shot, though. He made it, though. He made it to the majors, but yeah, no. No, no. Glenn Hill. Wonder why they got some of them on these, like, photo op cards here. Maybe he wasn't playing much back in 2000. Eric Young. I like Eric Young. I, liked him. I think he was on the Rockies. I think I liked him better on the Rockies. Unless that was Eric Young Jr. You know, mixed up. They look like this, like, almost exactly the same to me. Shane Reynolds, yeah, not so much. Griffey sets a single season home run record. They didn't say what it was, but he set it in August. It's pretty good. Nailed it. All right, let's keep it going here. Sorry if that's gonna get super annoying with me saying nailed it every time I, every time it goes in the bin, but that might be happening. I might just have to live with that. So I'm pretty happy every time it goes in the bin. All right, Troy Gloss, solid. Troy Gloss is pretty solid, I think. Chris Widger, no bueno. Sorry, buddy. Jason Ryan, even worse. I don't even know who Jason Ryan is. Roger Clemens, Yankee Days. Warren Morris, terrible. AJ Burnett, eh. I feel like he was like overpaid. Like people like thought he was good, but he, I don't think he was ever that great. Brittany Williams was solid for them. On some terrible Yankee teams. A's, where we got Jombi and Stairs. That's not Stairs. Yeah, the A's were. A rough there. Dave Justice still hanging around. Looks like he's got like the old man. Look at that. He looks like an old man walk. You can like put a cane or a walker in front of him, it'd be like exactly the same. He's like, is that sucker getting over? Over the fence? I can't believe it. Ponson, we talked about him. He was I don't know. I think he was supposed to be good, but it never really was. Jack Jones, Jock Jock Jones, eh. Cool card though. And what's our Griffey? Griffey Jr. is voted to his ninth All-Star team. All right, good job, Griffey. Ninth All-Star. Oh my God, I missed one. Getting complacent. Now I just expect everyone to go in. Didn't put enough focus into that throw. Went off the left side. Rimmed out. Chanho Park. See, there's our obsession with batting again. Chanho Park. I don't think Chan Ho Park's strongest game was bunting there. I mean, he looks actually pretty solid. He looks like he's ready. Get those fingers on, get those fingers on top and bottom. You don't want them. To, you don't want your hand out in front like that, though. I think that's a fake card. I think that's just a pose, maybe. Well, there's stands, people in the back, but man, you get those fingers out in front, you're gonna not be a happy fellow when you get hit with the ball. Chuck Knobloch. Oh, Chucky. Yeah, I was talking about how Chuck should be in the Hall of Fame. He's another one of those 90s, 1989 number one draft picks. But look at poor Chuck. He's like afraid. The ball's coming. He's like, just go in the mitt. Poor Chucky. Look at that poor afraid face. Look at that fear. I think he was done. I think he should have hung it up there. He just, wow. Poor guy. Alex Fernandez is terrible. <clears throat> Jeremy Burnett was... He had bombs. Luis Castillo. Dimitri. Whoa, Dimitri. Dimitri got old super fast. Look at that. Holy smokes. Hey, there's Mark McGuire. 
Bubba Trammel. I don't even know who that is. I'm usually pretty good with uh, players, but I've never heard of Bubba Trammel. Tom Goodwin. He was one of another one of those 89 draft picks, I think. He was my like honorable mention. Mike Piazza, Mets. Not a fan. Edgar. Come on, get Edgar in. Get Edgar in this year. I think he got like 70% of the vote last year. Come on. Edgar needs to be in the Hall of Fame. Griffey makes fifth consecutive All-Star. Wow. Were they able to knock out like 14 of the cards with the All-Star thing? Okay, let me be more focused on this one. All right, nailed it. I need a little sound effect for, for nailed it. I don't have to say it every time. Oh, my stack of rappers getting high here. Ooh, that's a big one there. All right. Oh, New York Yankees. Jeter and Williams. Solid. It's a solid card. Jason Kendall. He was solid. He was another catcher for fantasy. He was like the number one fantasy catcher because he could hit. Russ Ortiz. I don't like Russ Ortiz. He's just... Yeah. Darren Fletcher's not good. Preston Wilson. Eh. He was all right for a while there. Rockies, Larry Walker, Todd Helton. That's solid. That's a good combo. I like that. Maglio was good for a while there. I collected him. Jose Lima, Crazy Eyes. Just don't look at him too long. Ochoa. Yeah. Dustin Hermanson. He had hype, but never did anything. There's Barry. Barry's still getting out there to those fly balls. And Griffey. 1992 All-Star Game MVP. Griffey. Come on, card. Come on. Nailed it. Oh, that was right down the middle. That was like nothing but bottom of the... That was like the back of the net one there. That was that was like textbook throwing cards in the garbage can. This little stack's getting high there. Marlins, what do we got? Preston Wilson, Luis Castillo. Eh. Luis Castillo was pretty good though. Rookie. Oh man, Chad Hutchinson. He just never had a chance, Chad. Sorry, buddy. It's, it's hard to pitch when your eyes are too close together like that, though. So, you know, you kind of had, like, you know, things were going against you from the start. Eric Chavez was supposed to be good for a little while there. Wilton Guerrero, eh. Will Cordero, eh. Rod Barajas, sorry, buddy. D-backs, another D-backs that didn't pan out. Travis Fryman, hype, no good. Pedro Martinez, he was dominant for a while there. Leaders, Frank Thomas, Maglio, Dornius. That's a good combo. I like that combo. Maglio and Frank Thomas. Gabe Kapler, eh. Big play. Noma, see? Noma even got their big play card. There was Noma hype in 2000. I don't think he ever really played that well, though. What's our Griffey? Racks up eight consecutive hits. Griffey. Ooh, that one almost rimmed out. I got the roll on that one. That one. This is gonna be the longest box break video ever. Oh, this is a tough one. I can't even get it going. It's like there's steel in the middle. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Wow, that one was actually like I put my normal force into it and it wasn't budging. Like Superman on that one. All right, Carl Everett. Red Sox. I was in Carl, Carl Everett on the. Uh, oh, he has Astros jersey on. Carl Everett was at the end. This one really stuck together. Maybe it's because there's an autograph. That's why they're all stuck together like this. Who's this? 
Mark DeRosa. Eh. Marquise Grissom. Grissom. That's rookies. Kevin Barker. Sorry, Brewers. That one didn't pan out. Vinny Castilla. He was pretty solid. Vinny Chase Serha. I just think of his, uh, was it 90 Tops? His little Future Stars card. A little star shining across his card. That's his uh, highlight. Darren Dreifert. No bueno. Oh. oh. Alright, Phillies. Abreu and Schilling. That's a good combo. Abreu, Schilling. Solid. Daryl Strawberry is still hanging in there in 2000. I mean, what was his rookie card? 83, 84? So that's pretty good. Olamido Sanez. Sanez. See? Terrible. Jose Offerman. Not so good. What's our Griffey? 95 Griffey comes up big in the playoffs. Yes, they did. But not quite enough. Oh man, I'm short on that one. And my arm's getting tired. Getting card fatigued arm here. I wonder if there's a medical term for that. Alright, who we got here? Think about who we haven't gotten yet for card wise. Got pretty much everybody. I haven't gotten Ryan Sandberg. Was he still playing in 2000? Huh. I feel like we're still missing some people. There's Bagwell. Todd Hunley, still playing. Pirates, Kendall and Giles. Kendall was good. Kendall was solid. He was, yeah, like I said, he was fantasy fantasy baseball. He was solid. I don't, Brian Giles was terrible, though. Sorry. Eugene Kingsdale. Never heard of him. Roy Holiday. Look how young Roy was. That's before he got his big deal and started, like, owning everybody. Harrison Jr., not so much. Joe Nathan, uh... Aaron Boone, uh... Jason LaRue. The Reds. No bueno. J.D. Drew, no. Who's this? Mike Sweeney, uh... Griffey Circuit. 93. Griffey sets errorless record. No errors. Oh, it went super high off the door on that one. The actual card actually split apart on the way down and then didn't go in the bucket. Though. Caught like the end of the flap or something on that one. Oh, they have different people, because we had a Nomar Boston big play. I guess there's more than one. Big playmaker, Pedro, solid. I mean, I don't like Pedro, but I mean, I mean, he was, I mean, he was solid. Can't deny that. Hernandez, not so much solid. I mean, he's a solid, like, person, but not a baseball player. There's Conseco, and he's got a helmet on. He's looking at one going foul. Erickson. Yeah. There's Cologne. Bartolo. Pitch forever. Ben Molina. Ben Molina. Are they talking about Benji Molina? Maybe not. Is that another Molina? And there's like four Molinas. Mark Guzlanic. Big play. A Rod. Nice. Crap on it. That's all right. Kenny Bottenfield, terrible. Joe Randa, eh. I had him on my fantasy team a couple times. He did okay. Randy Johnson, ah, oh, Diamondbacks. That makes me a little sad. Had to go to the Diamondbacks to win a World Series, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do. You know him and Schilling. Two thousand year, two thousand. Is that the year they won the? That might have been the year they won the World Series. Junior. Griffey receives his sixth straight Silver Slugger. Oh, they have Silver Sluggers in Golf with two. So between Gold Gloves, All-Star, Silver Sluggers, that's like 40 of the cards right there. All right, completely redeemed myself with that throw. 
How are we doing on time? Ooh, oh, 50 minutes. I don't even know if I have much to even edit out of this video. Some pretty good times, not too much here. All right, Tony Fernandez was terrible. I think he had an 88 Blue Jays Diamond King though, Dunruss. So Brad Fulmer, no good. Hey, Barry Larkin, that's, a, that's someone we haven't seen yet. He was solid. Rookie, Francisco Cordero, sorry Tigers, no bueno. Adam Kennedy, eh. There's Randy Johnson again. D-backs. Mike Redman. Robert Fick. That's terrible. Ooh. Sammy Sosa. Brett Boone. There's our card. Come on, card. I know you're hiding back there. There it is. Jeff Cirillo. Solid for a uh, hitter. Griffey reaches 1,000 RBI plateau. Oh man, that was just pathetic. I think that one hit the carpet, hit the bottom of the can. Let that go way too early. It's like when you're on third base and you, you're throwing across a diamond and you just like let it go way too early and just put it right in the dirt, right in his face. Just randomly sometimes, just sometimes you just get that late release point is right in the dirt. All right, Joe Mays, no good. Look at that look though. It's like Joe Mays became James Bond. Wow. Where's Zalou hanging in there? Moises yelling at poor. Uh, Bartman, Travis Lee, eh, Bruce Avon was terrible, Phil Nevin, and he was okay for being a Padre, I guess. For the Padre standard, he was pretty good. It's like Hall of Fame Padres. Jesus, come on. Who's all up on Phil Nevin's back here? Get up. Get off his back, dude. Wow. Oh, it's his rookie. David Newham. Sorry, buddy. He didn't make it. Pedro Stasio, no, no way. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Things are really stuck. Oh, and they're stuck. Another one stuck. I didn't even get the one stuck that I was trying to get off of there. Hopefully, PSA doesn't look at fingernails dug into the sides here. I don't think they checked that. I don't think they checked for fingernail marks in the sides. Oh, it had to be a chipper, too, I was digging out of the back. Nice card, Chipper Jones, big play. Ryan Roops, terrible. Dean Palmer, bleh. Griffey. Griffey sets club record for runs, homers, and total bases. This is awesome. And I nailed that one. We still have cards to go. Wow, we got like. Whew, I need to take a little break and get some water or something. My, <clears throat> my throat is like crazy. So much to talk about, though. John Rocker, racist bastard. <laughs> um, Nunez is terrible. Perez, terrible. Well, this is a terrible pack. Parquet, oh, Saberhagen with the bat again. Love that bat thing. Rico Bronia is terrible. Stat leaders, Matt, w see why Matt Williams and Randy Johnson? There are so many better players than Matt Williams to put on that card. And look at Matt Williams' face. Come on, people. Pull together. Rusty Greer, eh. There's Pudge. Someone we haven't seen yet. Pudge is solid. AJ Hinch, <laughs> AJ Hinch. Oh God, AJ Hinch. Ryan Miner, oh man. Griffey leads the AL in home runs. Nailed it. Almost forgot to say it that time. Everyone's so disappointed not hear me say nail it for the like 20th time. 
Oh, that's a big one. Mario and Rivera. 2019 class, Hall of Fame class, for sure. Lozado, terrible. Rookie, Pat Burrell. I know he wasn't that great, but I always, with the Giants, Pat Burrell. Big Pat, Big Bat Pat. That probably wasn't his nickname, but I just made that up. I like Pat Burrell, though. And he hit, I think he hit bombs for the Phillies a couple years there. Andrew Jones. Todd Jones. Look at that beard. Wow. Like Santa Claus beard. Billy Wagner. Definitely good. Albert Bell's hanging in there. The Orioles. Mike Sorot Sorotka is terrible. Back when they were the Anaheim. Wait, are they not Anaheim? No, now they're the they switched a couple years back and forth. This is the Anaheim Angels. Then they're the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. And now I think they're just Los Angeles Angels now, I think. Anaheim lost out. But Mo Vaughn and Troy Percival. I mean I like Mo Vaughn, but that's who the Angels' best players are? That's not good. Who's this? Roosevelt Brown? He's got a cool name, but he was terrible. Tony Batista. Al Martin. And our Griffey. Griffey is the second youngest to hit 300 career home runs. I'm glad they put career in there. I almost thought it was a single season 300 home runs. Alright. Nailed it. That one was off the side though, so I went, I went left on that one. Luckily I hit the inner lid with it when it when I got the uh oh man I'm losing packs here. Right, over there. Detroit stat leaders, who we got? Dean Palmer and Carcion. No, those are not very good. That's before he was good too. Before he went to Toronto. Randy Velarde is terrible. Hollinsworth, no. Mondesi, eh. I mean he was okay. I collected him though. Sexton. Yeah. Wilton Barris, terrible. Dave Wells. Hang that Dave Wells. Mike Thurman. Rangers. Rafi and Pudge. That's a good combo. I like that. I feel like those guys are a good combo anyway. Like maybe they were like friends. And like they got breakfast once in a while and stuff. Maybe. Maybe not. Travis Dawkins was terrible. Eddie Perez, No Bueno, Griffey. Second youngest to win a gold glove. Good job, Griffey. Oh, went high off the door on that one. Still nailed it, though. Oh, I got these these packs. They're flying all over the place. The rappers, at least. Oh, that's a big crack. All right. Cardinals. McGuire and Ray Langford. Eh. I mean McGuire, but Ray Langford's the other guy they had on there. There's Hampton. Hampton was solid for a while there. I feel like he was just like a little guy. He's just a little guy. Scott Rowland was pretty solid. I don't think he's a Hall of Famer, but I mean he had a good career. Michael Barrett, not. Chris Singleton, no. Matt Stairs, no Matt Stairs, I'm sorry, you were terrible. Eli Marrero, also terrible. Kotze, no. Stat leaders? Casey and Williamson. Where's Barry? Who in the hell is Scott Williamson, too? Why is he on a stat leaders card? There was nobody else you put on this card besides Scott Williamson? Like, for reals? Oh well. Sedano. Big play, Manny. Manny is big play. I couldn't collect Manny. My brother collected Manny, but he, he was good. Junior Circuit, Griffey collects his third straight gold glove. Nailed it. All right, how many packs do I still have? Two, five. All right, six packs, including this one. We're getting there. We're getting done. Oh, we're not going to be under an hour. 
Under an hour is not gonna happen. That's all right. Just having too much fun opening these. Can't keep it short, sorry. I tried, a berry, big play. I think if I didn't talk about every single card that comes up, I think I'd probably be a little shorter of a video. But, but with Michael Cairo being terrible, Ricky Metz, no, not good. Didn't like it. Ricky Lede, or Lede, terrible. Billy Koch, terrible. Rios, sorry, Giants, but he was terrible. Pete Harnish was terrible. Caminiti, poor Caminiti. Ellis Burks, I liked Ellis Burks. He was a solid vet. John Valentin was no good. Cal Stalmer, of course, obviously not good. Junior. Griffey becomes the second youngest since 56 with 100 RBIs. Wow. He was young. I think he came he, he came up when he was like 18 or 19. Like they brought him right up. They're like, big show, kid. Whoa. That's a loud one. All right, who we got here? Terrible, McKaywitz. Troy Burstable, yeah, I think he was overrated. Chef, yeah. Thought he was better with the Yankees. There's Pudge. Pudge is happy. He's happy to put his mask on. JT Snow. He was alright. He was so defensive, though. It's like, what's with the Giants and these defensive first basemen? Like, they got Will Clark, and then all of a sudden they're like, let's find somebody who plays the defense at first base. And that is a bad idea for a first baseman. Dante Bichette was great. I like Dante Bichette. Wait, the hair flowing up the back, too. Rookie, Ed Yarnell, Yankees. Terrible. Another rookie, Mitch Wesley, Astros. Astros. Terrible. Joe McEwen was horrible. I like how I have no neutral, no neutral <laughs> reaction. They're either terrible or they're good. Mets, Mets were heavy into free agency. Their, their guys are Mike Piazza and Ricky Henderson. Those are their team leaders. So yeah, those are all bot talent. Nobody, where's that friggin' David Wright anyway? I mean, he wasn't, 2000, wasn't he on the Mets in 2000? AJ Hinch, no good. Griffey. 1998 Home Run Derby title. Nailed it. All right, who we got here? Troy O'Leary, it's terrible. Rookie. Kip Wells, I think we had him already. He's terrible. Jose Nieves is terrible. Ripken, solid. Junior. Jim Parquet is terrible. Miguel Tejada is awesome. Didn't even let my brother trip or anything. Juan Gon, pissed, but awesome. Move on. I don't like the Angels deal. But he's, I'm not going to say anything about him, but move on. He beat me up. Stat leaders. I always saw this one. I hate, I don't like Matt Williams' face. There's not much you can do about that. If someone has a face you don't like, it's just, what are you going to do? Mike Cameron's, he's, I mean, he's still playing, but he just kind of gets around. Sedano and Griffey. Whoa, whoa, Griffey. That's a 90s sweater. Look at that sucker. That's pretty sweet. It's like got like Picasso art. Deco drawings on it. Griffey makes his second straight all-star start. Does Griffey really need the all-star badge on? Does he walk up and say like, oh, I'm sorry, buddy. So who are you? Where's your uh, press pass to get on the field? You know, we're only, we're only letting players with press, press passes get in there. So Griffey really need a pass? Is the guy really gonna say like, who are you? And he's gonna say, I'm Griffey. And he's gonna say, oh yeah, sure, buddy. Does that really happen? Oh, nailed it. <laughs> kind of funny. Be like, sucker, I'm Griffey. Let me in. Oh god, John Rocker. That was not pretty, that whole John Rocker thing. 
Nunez, Perez. Hey, right, Barry Bonds, big play. Big play maker. Oh, getting all weary now, getting all weird. You always get all weary. After about 30 packs, they get a little weird. Savers. Rico Bronia, no bueno. We already talked about him. Oh, no bueno. Rusty Greer, eh. Pudge. Nice. Big play, Pudge. Always big plays. King Cam and Nitty. Kind of sad deal with him. Hermanson's no good. What's this one? Career best in steals in 99. That's interesting. Doesn't everybody in Major League Baseball set a career best in steals at some point? It is career best. That's like everybody sets a strikeout record. Career, career best in strikeouts, career best in hits, career best in stolen bases. All right. Oh, that's who we're missing. Frank Thomas. I can't believe I went all this time and completely forgot about Frank Thomas. We got a Frank Thomas card. Jason Jambi, he was, he was too bad. Jason Jambi's all right. He's terrible. Tony Gwynn. Great smile with Tony Gwynn. Oh, there we go. Big play Griffey. I'm glad I got that one. I have the base and the big play Griffey. And the stat leader Griffey, I think, too. Henry Rodriguez, no good. Move on, big play. I like move on, not a fan of the Angels thing, though. Fernando Tatis, I think he had, didn't he have two grand slams in the same inning? I mean, he was with the uh, D-backs. Jamie Moyer, the Mariners, that's why I remember him most, the Mariners, but pitched for like 25 years. There's Barry again. And Chris Benson, and Griffey receives his sixth straight gold glove. I think I have a couple of those, the fifth and like the seventh. And yeah, we idled it. Final pack. That one hit the rim and split into two cards, and then they kind of went up. I was saying nailed it, so I had to almost catch myself, but it went in. So, final pack. We will, um, what do we call it? ASMR it for the ASMR people who want to listen to it. Like, all quiet, like, we whisper, we whisper, and then we crack, and then we whisper, and then we crack, and then we whisper, and then we crack. I told you I get weird after 30 packs. That's not my fault. You open these packs and don't get weird. And it's been an hour. All right, Paul Canerco. Ramon Ortiz is terrible. Kevin Brown, Brown was great. Kareem Garcia is terrible. Robin Ventura, the. Orlando Primero, not good. Bayo Breo is pretty solid. Carlos Lee, no good. Greg Maddox, that's something we haven't gotten either. Thanks to get Greg Maddox card. Urguth Urbina, he was hot commodity for a while there. Ray Durham, eh. Our last Griffey, in his second season, Griffey leads Seattle in home runs and RBIs. And my last toss. Nailed it. That concludes our 2000 victory box break. 36 packs, 13 cards a pack with these annoying cards that I was tossing in the trash, which I hit most of them. I see like maybe 10 on the ground, but I was pretty solid for my hitting those across. So, hope you enjoyed the box break and join us for the next one. Have a good one. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Next box break on Monday.